Okay. Alright, let's just get this thing going. Hello. Um, my name is uh, LoserMank. And, now that my problems have been solved, time has been given to me. So, um, I will be using that time and playing my new PS4 and Black Ops 3 Zombies. So, if you, as you can see, I'm level 31 with some gobblegum stuff. A nice little emblem there and everything. So, I've got everything set, basically. Um... Uh, how much, how much time? It don't, it barely take, it doesn't take that long to level up, so, how much time did I take? I don't know, I'm not gonna go into detail, but anyway, I'm playing Black Ops 3 Zombies, and I'm not gonna commentate much, because I don't like commentating much during Zombies. Um, I don't know, it's just I can't really have an ongoing conversation, um, for like, I don't know, an hour when I'm playing my game, but basically... I'll talk when it's necessary, so yeah, I'm going to be skipping this part, as in skipping the loading process. I'm playing with random people, mainly because I have a strategy that they work for me. <laughs> they have to be my servants for my gains of experience, so um, I play online. If I play solo, it just takes too, lo too long, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to, you know, load everything up. Alright, um, I'm back for a second here, 25 seconds till the game starts. I want to show you a few things um, with my account. I'm going to mute everyone, mainly because if I'm talking for YouTube, if I'm going to upload this, I don't want people, you know, listening in, trying to get in the video, and because people might be a little loud, so I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone. Um, but I want to show you some cam camos I have made. They're not the best, but I made it just because for my own enjoyment. And so look at this. And I think the game just started, yeah. So I made it for basically every basic perk. And... Yeah, is it? Is it still talking to people in game? Is that how muting works now? I don't think that's. I don't think it's doing that, because it says it on the side there. If you don't notice. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, um, got a ton of camos. They are based off every original perk, and then flopper and stamina up, and that's all I have so far. But um, I will be making more in the future for guns that I like. Uh, starting with the VMP which is where the Thompson was located. That's where every wall weapon, basically, I'm making a perk um, camo for it. So here's my strategy, people. Let's see how many players are in the game. Four. Okay, no problems with loading. Steel, but that, it will work. that is very loud. Okay, so I'm going to have that. There we go. I was going to say, that's way too loud. All right, so here's my strategy. I either go... Okay, I start out with the RK, RK5. I'm going to try to talk a bit slower. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. RK5. I start out with this. I have a lot of stuff on it. As you can see, the max amount of... The max camo. The best camo you can get. Or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, about that. About that. Uh, yeah, okay. Have, have a good time. So, um... I start out with the RK5. I'm going to keep saying RK5. I don't know why, but I'm going to start saying RK5. So I apologize about that. So think of it as RK5, not RK, as in R-K-I-E or something. It's RK as in K-E-Y. Okay, think of it like that. I'm not making a fun little kitty name for it. I'm trying to... I just accidentally say it like that. So RK5 or RK5. Um, I buy that first. And then, because it's 500 points, and it's way better than the other starting weapons we've ever gotten before. Like, seriously, it's Bear from Black Ops 2. Good. That's how good it is. It's OP, and they probably are going to nerf it very soon. So, um, yeah, and then I pick either this window or this window. I never pick these two because people try to fight for me and get my points. Um, I'm trying not to kill these guys because other people need them too. So go ahead. There you go. Somebody take those zombies. I... I hate it when people take zombies from my window. I'm assuming everybody does, so I'm going to make sure people get their share of points. Anyway, um, these two windows, because I'm private, private areas, I have to walk all the way around here or walk all the way down here. And by the time they get there, they're most likely not going to have killed my zombies unless they throw a grenade, in which I'll throw it back. But yeah, anyway, this is the giant. I don't really play on Shadows of Evil. I can, but um, I can't get out of the starting room. <laughs> Whether I'm not, I'm with four pl really good players. I just, I can't do it. I don't know why, it's just a disability for me. Yeah, you die. So, if you... If I would've gotten zombies on round two... Okay, that was a mistake. People probably got mad over that one. Um, 
Man, the sound quality is good with this thing. Ooh, I heard people get gobble gums. All right. Okay, one thing you got to know about my gameplay is I get gumballs as quick as possible, and I get a lot of them. I love freaking gumballs, so I'm going to be wasting stuff like, um, what's it called, in plain sight, and the teleport one, which that guy seemed to have just used, because I want the gobblegum calling card. Oh, it's still a... Is it? Oh, it is. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so round one, four shots with the pistol, knife. Um, round two, uh, a full clip of the pistol and knife, unless I have too much. Round three, one shot of the RK-5 and knife. Oh crap. Oh crap, the guy's on my way. Alright. Uh, did that guy leave, or how did he get revived? Hup. I slide a lot, I forgot to tell you that. So then round four and above, I just use my RK-5. Actually, round four, if I get a max ammo with my pistol, I use all my pistol ammo that I possibly can, get maximum amount of points, and then kill him with a knife or RK-5. I usually just use RK-5. And then from there, I just randomly go do whatever I want with the guns that are around me. By the time, by that time, though, I usually have about 4,000, 5,000 points. Right now, I'm lacking a bit as I am doing a commentary, so yeah. I love buying doors because of how much experience it gives you, and especially on double experience week, which is now. So yeah, that's basically all I gotta know about me. Gumball sliding, way too loud. I have to say that now, way too loud. No, that didn't make a difference. There you go. Sorry guys, I don't know if you even heard me. Juggernaut, I'm assuming not, because that guy just turned it down. Um, so yeah, sliding, gobble gum, round one through four, strategy, windows I use. And yeah, basically, oh, I was about to get another one for a second there. Um, uh, this has, yeah, okay, so it's in the back. All right, which means I'll have to, oh, it's already open. Okay, perfect. Um, so, what was I going to say? What? What did I miss? I missed something. I must have missed the um, walkway between there, which is a good... Um, I, I do, I do apologize about me complaining about the horribly OP zombies that are in this game, but yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, things like that are just pretty dumb. If they sprint, if you, if you get hit, I don't know why, but sometimes just very rarely you do this when you get hit. Cause when you're trying to run, it just, when you're, when, when you're trying to run, it does this instead of making you run. Cause if you do this, then it overrides it when they hit you. So it's not a glitch. Ooh, wow. Level 32. Crit, lucky crit. Oh, lucky crit sounds fantastic. Was there crits before? I don't think there was. I think there's crits now. Which is pretty good. I didn't know that. Maybe that's the, um, that, like, headshot sound that I think is always a headshot sound, and, but it's not a headshot sound. It's a crit sound. Cr crit sound. Nah, it's not, because I get the crit every single time I kill a zombie, because I headshot them. Okay, but, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the zombies, if you're running um, and you get hit by a zombie, sometimes instead of running, you do this. Wait, no, the running's the other button. I just realized that. I don't know. Whatever. It is a glitch. So then you do this when you get hit, and then when you try to run again, you do this again when you get hit again. So that's how I died. I did this, and then I I just stayed like this. It wouldn't let me run. So that's what happened there. Zombies hit ridiculously fast now. I don't know if they are any different, but I have a feeling they are. They're much harder now. But the guns in this game kind of, you know, are OP, so it kind of makes up for that. And the gobble guns especially as well. So, yeah. Alright, so my basic strategy for every game, I'm really hoping my um, clip is, hasn't cut off yet. I don't know how long 15 minutes has... I don't know if 15 minutes has passed yet. Um, but, uh, basically, I stay in the starting room. I'm using uh, the PS4 recording system, by the way, if you didn't know. I'm getting maybe getting an Elgato system soon. So yeah, I'll use that later, but for now I'm going to be using this. So 15 minute clips, sorry guys. Um, but anyway, um, what's I going to say? The, oh, um, my strategy to get a lot of experience and a lot of points, like retardedly a lot of points, sorry for using the word retard, but it's ridiculous. Um, basically you just stay in the starting room and you wait till people, I hate it because, oh well, oh, okay free 400 points because it's a dog round so whether or not this round has started it's going to give you 400 points um 
let's see, is the berry, it's 300, right, 1,300? Yes, it is. Okay, so, um, okay, sorry about that, sorry about that noise. 360, see ya. All right, um, grab this, and the gun I'm upgrading to get all camos for is this at the moment. Ah, there's tons to say. So much things to do right now. Starting room, basically, everybody else opens doors for you, opens Pack-a-Punch for you. So you're at the receiving end of the links, and you just instantly link it for them. So that's always teamwork, you know. Um, so basically, you're in the starting room. Don't open this door. You can. It really doesn't matter. But it, it's really helpful if you don't, because you get to only manage one side of zombies overflowing and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm assuming you guys have probably, one at one point or another, have tried to survive in the starting room but um for me it's just this is the way i do it one door closed one door open doesn't matter which door you open or close i don't recommend either one <laughs> i wish you don't have to open either and you just climb a ladder so only zombies come out of the four barriers but basically if you're in the starting zone and everybody's back there on the catwalk which is a good strategy now because of the way the zombies work um every zombie is going to go for you it's not going to go for them that's going to go for you. So if you can manage to survive enough while you're in this room. Ooh, look at that rectangle. I haven't seen that yet. I just now got it. Um, but if you're in the starting room and you're actually good at training, it doesn't even require training, actually. But if you're good at surviving what, whatsoever, um, you can basically get 14,000 points. If I were doing... No, yeah. 14,000 points, it should still work, um, by probably around 11 if you started at 6. So here we go. Let's do this. So basically, the main objective is to get as much headshots as possible, knife while insta kill, get some really good experience. This isn't about for to survive high rounds, by the way. I forgot to mention, but it's about getting experience. If I want to survive high rounds, I'm going back there with the catwalk people. But right now, I'm worrying about camos, um, points, and um, revives and opening doors. But I don't open doors, so I worry about revives and stuff. So. Yeah, basically, if you're doing this, you got to make sure nobody's with you or else you don't get points at all. So if you hear me complaining about people being in the starting room with me, that's because. Uh, also, things like they get power-ups and when you want to get them for yourself. Um, they get things like nukes and stuff, so it kind of really ruins your strategy and everything. You want to be alone because also experience requires kills. And if you do tons of damage to the zombie but the player next to you does the final blow, you just lost that kill. So if you want experience, you can you have to be alone. So I might leave since this guy's just sitting here. I'm wondering if he's just waiting to pack a punch. But uh, yeah, see, I would have gotten that nuke because I thought it was I would have been a good time, but that guy just kind of ruined it. All right, hold on, guys. I'm gonna check and see if the um clip has ended. So be right back. Tutorial and whatnot. I'm still talking in this. I will not be talking probably in the next video. Only when it's necessary, of course. I'm not gonna be 100% silent. I'm going to say a quote here and there. Ooh, level 6. A quote here and there um, and stuff like that. I've always liked how accurate this is, especially with this new rectangle. I'm really liking it. Like, the old one was kind of annoying in a way because it wasn't a really good rectangle. It's just kind of purple. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, this is the third rectangle in the line of rectangles that you can get. I'm saying it right. I really hope I'm saying that right. If I'm or saying the right word altogether. If I'm not, that's kind of weird. But... Okay, where we left off, uh, I was talking about how you have to be alone for the setup. But, um, yeah, so let me try to skim it down to the basics of what you're supposed to do to get maximum amount of experience um, with this little strategy I put together. So basically, um, uh, I'm not going to start from like, I'm just basically saying the basics. Um, <laughs> so basically, you got to be alone. That's your main objective is being alone. Uh, you don't want to be having players, if you're doing tons of damage to the zombies, you don't want players giving the final blow, and then you just lost your kill for whatever cause you were going towards. So, uh, at least just one kill in the entire cycle. But that could lead to multiple kills being taken away and just tons of experience lost. So you want to be alone in this kind of place. Um, you want to be in the, like, in my personal, my, in my personal opinion, the best place to get a lot of experience alone in is the starting room the starting room is incredibly hard to survive in i'm going to say that right now i will not survive very long i'm not the best zombie player so i'm just going to say that now um and i don't do the best i don't i don't have the best strategies and everything to survive but that's not even what i'm going for i'm not trying to survive a really long time i'm trying to get the most experience i possibly can in one game 
So that includes doing things like insta-kill, knifing, because I heard knifing's the best way to get experience overall, not for your guns and stuff, just overall. Um, so knifing during insta-kill, always nice during insta-kill when you have the chance. I won't be doing it much, mainly because the, I'm just getting flooded with so many zombies that it's just pointless to try. But um, yeah, knifing's a very good thing to do on insta-kill only. Or if you have sword flay and like it's round 9 as it is right now, you can knife a lot of zombies and get tons of experience. Um, so when it kills over, get as much headshots as possible. Like basically only go for headshots. It'll kill you faster, mainly because you got to focus on running around trying to survive from the zombies. So if you're doing focusing on headshots, you will die pretty quick. And I don't focus entirely on headshots, but I may make sure to get a lot of them. So, um, but let's see here. So headshots, basically that's your main main tactic just headshot 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 that's all you gotta do you get a lot of experience that way um for your gun i'm talking about your gun by the way so um headshots and you want to aim down if you want to go for recticles you aim down the whole time like all the freaking time so yeah um when you're here um you don't want to get a lot of perks i'm actually going to go get double tap since it's dog round but you don't want to get a lot of perks um because you're going to die a lot. I'm just going to say this now. If you're going solely for experience like I am, you're going to die a lot in the starting room. The starting room is not a good place to survive. I'm just going to say that now, especially if everybody else is not with you. So I do not recommend just regularly surviving in the starting room. All right. I'm, ju I'm just making that clear. Um, so, uh, yeah. But if you want to go for good experience, yes. Alone in the starting room is amazing. I'm not even kidding. I leveled up probably... I level up probably two regular levels in one game. Ooh, one shot left. Oh, RK5, okay. Uh, there's that RK thing again. Um, but, oh, man, the sound quality is so beautiful with this thing. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to go for experience, yeah. Because there is, I'm not even, just look at this. I should stop saying I'm not even kidding. One, two, three, four, five. And if you open this, six. Six areas, oh, sorry, seven. Seven areas where they can pile in. So you're going to die pretty quick. But seven areas means all the zombies are going for you. There's so many open areas that all the zombies are not going to them. Nobody's going to go there. You're going to get 1,000 points per round over there. But here, you're going to get like 5,000, 6,000 rounds or points per round because of every zombie that's flooding in. That means more experience. Uh, but since you could do this on solo granted but there's so many more zombies on solo and you get one chance i get scared on solo because of how short my lifespan is on solo because if you go down in this area uh people are there for you people are going to revive you and if they don't you don't have much perks in the first place and you don't have much guns because you're only going to be having one gun or sorry two guns and you're only going to be leveling up one gun at a time so you don't want to you only want to pack a bunch when you run out of ammo ammo Sorry, ammo and all that. So, yeah. Um, man, I feel like this has turned into a tutorial. I'm mainly trying to say this all, uh, say my strategy so you you know what to expect when you watch my videos. <laughs> so don't think of this like a strategy. I don't know why I'm saying you want to, but I'm, I should be saying I am doing this, not you should do this. But I guess it's a tutorial too. Let's just call it that, all right? So really good experience tutorial. How about that? And gameplay at the same time. I'm not going to name this video tutorial well, I might, maybe, because this would really help people, I, I'd assume, so. Yeah, anyway, um, but there's videos out there how to level up really fast that are much better than this, so. This is mainly how to do it on the giant, alright? This is my tutorial how to do it on the giant. But anyway, so, what were, what was I? Oh, do you see this? 11,000 points. What did I tell you? 11,000. What are their points? Um, 3,000, 6,000. I'm not saying they don't get a lot of points, but doing this strategy, I'm gonna say this now, people aren't gonna like you. You're sucking all the uh things you're sucking all the stuff that they could be doing away from them so they're not getting much experience or points so i'm gonna say this now i do this but if you want other people to enjoy their game enjoy their game not necessarily enjoy their game if you want other people to level up fast and get a lot of points and get high rounds you don't do this you want to go with them okay i'm only doing this for experience because it's double experience weekend i get tons of experience look at this 1100 experience just for surviving to round 12 you're not even getting that until round 20 if it wasn't double experience week so this is just really good okay if it wasn't double experience i probably not do this to people but they can they're free to join me i'm not kidding they're free to join me in the starting room i don't like it that very much because it ruins my uh experience rates but <laughs> well i'm kind of doing that to them the whole time so i it's understandable 
if they join me, they will get tons of kills. But if the guy in the back will be all alone, he might go down and stuff. And we will go down too because the starting room is just going to get flooded with zombies. And two people can't train at the same room. So we're going to both die. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't recommend if somebody's doing this, I don't recommend um, joining them because you're going to get yourself killed or them killed. And they might, you know, yell at you. I'm not going to yell at anybody if they get me killed. I'm just fine with it. Whatever I get, I get. And it goes toward my overall goal of getting maxed out in this game. So I'm fine with it. If I die quickly with all my perks, I'm going to probably rage a bit. Mainly because it's a really dumb death. All the deaths are dumb in this game, seriously. The zombies, maybe one zombie was there and he hit you three times in a row. Um, that's a really dumb death. Or maybe two zombies, just two, hit you four times within a second. It's like, yeah, there's your death there. It's like, okay, then game. Or if you're bleeding out from getting hit so much and you're running away, but that one zombie comes from the side, bam, you're dead. And then you get mad again. I'm going to get mad at those kind of things mainly because the deaths are retarded. But uh, after just a, maybe probably about five seconds of raging, I'm going to say, oh, it's fine though, because if I die, I have nothing to lose. And I got a lot of experience that game. So that's all I got to think about. And I won't get as mad as I... Uh, usually would if I were trying to survive high rounds so basics of it are headshots do a lot of those um insta kill man you got a water wobble insta kill um knife only as much as possible oh I'm really is my mic working oh it is okay yeah okay I thought it wasn't working ah all right doesn't matter gameplay should be fine um but um yeah, knife during insta kills, unless it's really not possible. Mainly, usually isn't. So, but do it as much as you possibly can. Uh, headshots, headshots, headshots. Aim in as much as possible to get those better headshots, better chance, and for more rectical stuff for your gun. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Just knife and headshots, and try to survive as long as possible. Don't get too many perks, or else you're just gonna have too much to lose, and you might get angry. Um, don't get too many guns, like the ray gun, the wonder waffle. Uh, don't get that kind of stuff because if you lose it, you'll have a lot to lose there. So it'll be kind of annoying. Oh, okay. No, nope. uh, there you go. Okay, sometimes stuff like that can kill you. I ran out. Oh, and if you didn't notice, the same thing happened again. When I was running, it would put me down like that. So when they hit you, I, you know, kneel. I like, kneel before your god, and it kills me. But I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does. It just does it. So most, most likely... <clears throat> most likely I'm going to die, but never mind. Survive, buddy. Oh, crap. Did I just leave him to die? Oh, man. I don't want to do that. Well, I'm still in experience from him. Okay. But, all right. I probably can't get back to Juggernog, so hold on a bit. I should be able to get out of this. Oh, I have 20,000 points. Let's go teleport. And while we're teleporting, might as well get this. And uh, you guys notice what I'm saying? Look at this. 20,000 points by round 13. Isn't that insane? Don't you find that insane? That's how good this thing is. You want experience and points. This is what you do. But the problem is you're leeching points off of everyone else around you. So it kind of... Oh, okay, no reward. It, it's kind of like you're kind of being selfish in a way. So that kind of really sucks. But you do what you got to do, man. I'm probably going to die here. Oh, Liquid Divinium. Nice. Eep. Whoa. Okay, I didn't drink Juggernaut yet. Oh, did I? No, that was too many hits. Yeah. 13,000 points. I don't care if I die. Um, you don't lose any experience for downs. So it really doesn't matter. But yeah, stuff like this, guys. This is what I'm talking about. You die a lot, so but you get tons of experience. Like literally, like I said, two main levels, two overall levels. As in, you see my levels 32. You get two levels probably per round uh, until it gets really high, your level high. So you have to have a lot of experience. Otherwise, it's probably guaranteed you get one overall level um, every game. So yeah. This is a really good strategy. And with your gun, whatever gun you're using to level up, which I recommend one at a time, um, you uh, you get probably like four levels every game. So if you run out of ammo, like I'm doing right now, you upgrade it. And the reason for that is it's not it's kind of pointless to upgrade it. Like I said, you have more to lose until you have no ammo and you still want to upgrade that gun. I know it's better um, damage, so you'll get way more experience way faster, but... Uh, I don't do it mainly because it's just not really that necessary. It's not that much faster. So when I'm out of ammo, I get it. But until then, I don't. So yeah. Anyway, I think I've explained everything I needed to explain. I'm just going to do gameplay now. I think that's that's fair. There we go. I think that's fair. Um, so, oh, they opened the door too. So, oh, well, they probably had to do that to revive me. Anyway, guys, uh, there you go. There's your little tutorial if I ever 
submit this for tutorial's sake if I ever um if you ever need any help getting a lot of experience, especially on a double experience weekend, I recommend doing this. Seriously, really good. Anyway, enjoy me dying a ton. <laughs> enjoy me maybe doing some clutch moments. That's basically what I'm recording. And yeah, I'm not going to be talking very much now because um, I can't really... I I'm kind of get I'm getting kind of, you know, tired. And I probably have to take off this headset since it's like compressing my face right now. So yeah, anyway, enjoy the gameplay. Oh, by the way, I do have <clears throat> I do have something to say, actually. Um, right now, what I'm doing is not dying because I'm just standing here. Right now, what I'm doing is um, I'm actually going for the Red Hex, which is the last camo out of four. Red Hex camo uh, for the Impaler, otherwise known as the VMP, uh, where the Thompson actually sits previously. That's where you find it, 1,300 points, um, stuff like that. So it's um, I have Red Hex camo for basically every wall weapon so far, except for the KN the shotgun one and this one so i am getting this right now um getting it for the impaler as of right now i don't know if there's any other wall weapons oh the shiva i don't do anything for the shiva like i said i buy the i buy the rk5 so there's really no point of uh doing anything for the shiva but at some point i will do stuff for the shiva there's no guarantees that i'm not doing it so yeah okay so i just want to say that i'm getting red hex camo and i'm getting recticles for my sights for my gun so that's why um that's why you use one gun at a time so you can upgrade one gun as much as possible at a time but you might want to have two guns because um if you run out of ammo and one of them you're kind of screwed so yeah anyway i'm gonna take off this headset now and enjoy the gameplay Another death by me. Um, yeah, as you saw there, once again I got in prone mode. It put me in crouch mode when I got hit, so I couldn't run and I died. I don't. I, I think they really need to fix that, fix that glitch. I don't know what it's. I've never actually seen it do it this much until now. All right, as you can see, I died. Ooh, that rectangle looks terrible. <laughs> I was about to say, ooh, it looks good, but it, it just changed. What? Excuse me. Oh, it's because it was blurred out because it, it was glitching out, right? Still, the rectangle's terrible. All right, I'm kidding. But, um, the unspeakable. What the heck is the unspeakable? 
Oh, dead. Okay, the other guy left, as you saw, when he died, and that guy died. So, there we go, game over. I leveled up once, and I leveled up my gun twice, I think. So, it's level, it's round 16, though. I usually get to round, like, 25 or so, so I didn't get much levels. But, anyway, good experience, good run. Um, well, probably not the best run, but it was, it was decent, I guess. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm going to end the video here. I don't know if I'm going to combine all the clips I just made. I think I'm going to have to. And also, I think it cut out in one of the clips. So I don't know how much commentary I just lost. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And this is the first of many to come in this video. And I didn't level up. Oh, yes. It didn't show me I leveled up. Oh, well. All right. So let's, let's check some things here, guys. Uh, we got a new guy. What is it? This. Improves your chances of activate, activating an alternate ammo type. Well, yes, because I don't know what that means. So I'm going to take it. Um, Monty Python's... Darn it! Monty, Dr. Monty's factory. Ah, what do we get? Power boost. That's not helpful. Oh, yes. Yeah, is it? No. Cashback and I'm feeling lucky. Cashback is great because I don't have a max ammo one yet. And the mystery one's okay because you never know what you can get. So, yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? Camos? Any new ones? How many? How many? Till? Okay. Well, that kind of makes me salt because I just missed that. All right. Um. But let's see here. Laser sight. There we go. Uh, what else? Elo. I really want it, but I need to get kills against this. Decay and. Okay. So that other one I saw earlier was must have been yeah, multiplier one. All right. Um. This is uh. Holy crap! Five thousand. Holy crap! Three thousand. Wow. That is a lot. But luckily it's for every gun, so that that's nice. Uh, yeah, I, that's good on that one. Something I forgot to do, get the red hex on this one. Look at that. Look at it! There's my juggernaut, by the way. I took this from a video. I should probably put the link in the description who made this. But the rest I made myself, actually, so. Like this one. Uh, I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, and there's a weird black dot at the symbol, and the shading's a bit off, but... Nonetheless, I think it looks pretty similar to the to that little icon. This is kind of uh, simple, but at least it's kind of accurate to what it looks like. Weevil, favorite gun ever. Just kidding, it's a pharaoh. Surprise, surprise. It's the only one that's in the box, not on the wall, that I made for perk one. Uh, do I have the red hex for this? I don't. How much kills? Okay, 400. Uh, stamina up for this one. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. I don't know if I can necessarily say these are really good or not. But uh, I'm not, not like, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if I have the right to. I'm not saying they're not, but... This one's Quick Revive, uh, absolutely decked out RK5 right now. Uh, this is Speed Cola, Red Hex, by the way, Red Hex as well. Um, I don't have anything on this, although I do have a good camo for this. Uh, Light Machine Gun, I have a pretty decent camo for that. Uh, there was another one, I feel. Juggernaut, no, there wasn't, okay. So, yeah, there we go, guys. I'm going to end the video on that note. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope you will enjoy all the videos to come. And let's see how far I can get with this kind of play stuff. Playthrough stuff. Uh, I need to sort out my new guys. Okay, there we go. Alright, goodbye.